For today's video, we'll be talking about solving linear equations in one variable, so basically solving for x. So we're going to start with the rules on how to solve this. So the first rule is clear fractions or decimals. The second rule is remove all parentheses and brackets. We will get there. The third rule is combine like terms on each side. The fourth rule, isolate the terms with the variable to one side of the equation. And the last rule is isolate the variable alone in one side. We'll go over all the rules on how it applies to in solving for this. So basically we're solving for x and we'll go over the rules on how to um, do this. Let's start off with this example right here. We have 2x plus 5 equals 12. The first rule doesn't matter because we don't have no fraction or decimals. The second rule doesn't matter. There is no parentheses or brackets. The third rule does not matter in this case because we don't have no like terms. Okay, they're already there. Now we skip to the fourth rule. Isolate the term, the variable. So here, all we do is just minus 5 from both sides. And we would get 7. 2x equals 7. In this case, the fifth rule is isolate the variable alone. So divide by 2, divide by 2. And we get x equals 7 over 2. So the fifth rule in here was the x, right? Having the variable by itself. And that's what we did, divided by 2. Let's do the next example here. We have 9x plus 11 equals 7x plus 1. From here, we have no fractions. We have no parentheses. We have no brackets. The like terms, um, we don't have to combine the like terms because they already did it for us. So we skip all the way to step 4 which is isolate the terms with the variable to one side of the equation. So from this, we would subtract, subtract 7x from both sides. And when doing this, we do that to the left side, and we have, are left with 2x plus 11 equals 1. From here, we're still in step 4. We minus 11, okay, minus 11, because we want, we want to make it equal. Now 2x equals negative 10. Let me get some more space here. We have 2x equals negative 10. Fifth rule, just divide by 2, and x equals negative 5. Let's do another example here. We have 4 minus 2x plus 1 in parentheses equals 6 minus 2x minus 4 in parentheses. In this case, there are no fraction decimals, but step 2 is remove all parentheses. So in this case, we have to distribute the 4 on the left side and distribute the negative on the right side. And so when we do this, we get as negative 8x plus 4 equals 6 minus 2x plus 4. Now step 3, combine the like terms. In this case, we do have like terms on the right side. The 6 and the 4, that is 10. So 8x plus 4 equals 10 minus 2x. Now from here, step 4 is isolate the terms of the variable to one side. So I'm going to plus 2x, and then plus 2x on the left side. From here we get negative 6x plus 4 equals 10. Now minus 4, we're still in step 4, so minus 4, minus 4 on the right side. We get negative 6x equals 6. Now step 5, get the variable by itself, so negative, divide by negative 6, negative 6, x equals negative 1. And this is our answer. Let's do another example here. We have this now. As you can see, we have fractions. In this case, when we do have fractions, the best thing to do is find the LCD, least common denominator. So we have 4, 5, 2, and 5, right? We need to find a number where they all multiply to equal the lowest amount of number, if that makes sense. So for example, 4 times 5 is what? Right? 20. 5 times 4 is 20. 2 times 10 is 20. That's the lowest number that they all equal to. So in this case, we will have 20 that equal all. So we might multiply both sides. Whatever you do to the left side, we have to do it to the right side. So in this case, <coughs> we end up to 35 plus 4x minus 30 equals 16x. Now, moving on to step 3, combine the like terms. We have 35 and negative 30, which is just 5, plus 4x equals 16x. Now, fourth, the fourth rule, isolated terms, right? Negative 4x minus both sides. We have 
5 equals negative uh, 5 equals 12 x now isolate the variable by itself so divide by 12 so x equals 5 over 12 let's do another example here as you can see again we have fractions in this case they have 3 5 and 10 so we find the LCD the least common denominator in this case meaning whatever whatever number is the lowest number they multiply to to get that number if that makes sense so in this case the lowest number that they all equal to is 30 right we have 3 times 10 5 times what is that 6 and then 10 times 3 equals 30 so I'll multiply both of them by 30 to re to get rid of them fractions right the first step the fractions we can do that we have 10 here and then we would have 6 there on the 5 that's easier to do so our first step is to remove the fractions or decimals and we're re removing the fraction in this case so if we do that we have 10 parentheses x minus 2 minus 6 x plus 7 equals 3 x minus 4 parentheses plus 60 now step 2 is remove all the frac all the parentheses in this case all we have to do is distribute right so in this case we would get 10x minus 20 minus 6x minus 42 equals 3x minus 12 plus 60 after we do this we combine like terms we have 4x plus 22 equals 3x plus 48 now we're on, we on our step 4, isolate the, uh, with the variable to one side, so minus 3x minus 3x, which just gives us x minus 62 equals 48, plus 62 on both sides, and now we're on the final step, the fifth step, x equals 110, we divide it by, we just get that. Now let's do this example right here, see the parentheses, let's distribute, 5x plus 10 equals 5x minus 2, from here we do minus 5x now when we do this it's zero the variable goes away we're left with 10 equals negative 2 right and so when we have this it is not equal to each other right this is called no solution you can write it out like this or you can put the symbol they both mean the same thing let's do one last example here in this case we see decimals now instead of fraction right so we need a number that can remove the decimals completely so we do not want to work with those so the only number the lowest actually the lowest number right the LCD would be 100 times everything by 100 we can't do it by 10 because we'll still have decimals in this case right so the only number that we can do the lowest number the LCD is 100 so times it by the left side and also on the right side. In this case, we are left with what? X plus 310 equals 203X minus 296. Now minus X from both sides. We are left with 310 equals 202X minus 2996. Now plus 296 on both sides. We're left with 606 equals 202x divided by 202 to leave the variable by itself and we have our final answer as x equals 3